the Hovermat Trendelenburg Patient Stabilization and Air Transfer Mattress, also known as the Hovermat T-Berg, is designed to address issues facing today's operating room team, especially staff caring for patients of size requiring stabilization and air transfer from the OR table to PACU. The Hovermat T-Berg can be used in robotic and other surgical procedures that require Trendelenburg or reverse Trendelenburg positioning. This instructional video will show you how to set up the Hovermat T-Berg on the OR table and how to use this device to transfer the patient from the OR table onto a stretcher following the procedure. First, ensure the table, stirrups, and or footboard have been set up per manufacturer's instructions and as needed for the procedure. Place the Hovermat T-Berg on the OR table. Disconnect any straps that may be connected to the mat itself. There are three straps on each side and two straps located at the bottom of the mat. Line up the perineum cutout on the mat about a half inch above the perineum cutout on the OR table. Ensure the mat is centered and flat. Tuck the sides of the mat underneath the OR table pads. Ensure the hold fast strip on each side of the mat is flat and under the OR table pads. Loop the rail fasteners located along the sides of the mat behind the rail, then attach them to the fastening strip. Ensure the rail fasteners are looped before the rail post for procedures that require Trendelenburg positioning. Loop the foot end straps, which are located at the bottom of the mat, around the footboard pegs. The footboard pegs should be pointing down. Please note, the rail fasteners and foot end straps may be double looped around the OR table rail to accommodate different table configurations. A draw sheet can be placed in the area supporting the patient's iliac crest and abdomen for repositioning and to support arm adduction. Confirm that the Hovermat T-Berg is flat prior to the patient getting into position. Ensure that the patient's arms and fingers are protected and secured to the body. It is important to protect the ulnar nerve and fingers. Make sure the patient's buttocks region is as close as possible to the bottom of the mat. The patient's skin should be in direct contact with the holdfast foam for maximum patient stability. To connect the patient safety straps, thread one strap through the closed rail post section on each side of the OR table. Make sure to follow the labeling on the straps. Attach the Velcro to the strap itself. Make sure the foam side of the strap is against the patient. Then, adjust the straps accordingly. Bring the patient safety straps across the patient's chest and attach them to each other to secure the patient to the OR table and Hovermat T-Berg. Once the patient is secured, position the table in Trendelenburg for the procedure. After the procedure, return the table back to a flat, supine position. For reverse Trendelenburg positioning, first make sure the footboard is in place. Ensure the rail fasteners are looped after the rail post. Connect the patient safety straps across the patient's chest, followed by a strap placed around the patient's legs at mid-thigh level. Follow your hospital's protocol as appropriate and follow all other instructions as described previously for Trendelenburg positioning. Then, move the table into reverse Trendelenburg. Once the procedure is finished, return the table back to a flat, supine position. To perform a lateral transfer from the OR table to a receiving surface like a stretcher, begin by disconnecting the Hovermat T-Berg from the OR table. Make sure the stretcher's wheels are locked prior to performing the transfer. At the bottom of the mat, Insert the air supply hose into the air hose port located on the same side to which the patient is being transferred. When the caregiver next to the patient has assumed the position of safety and given the signal that it is okay to inflate the hover mat, initiate airflow using the hover mat 2834 button. 
transfer the patient from the OR table to the stretcher. Once the patient is on the stretcher, ensure they are centered. Turn off the air supply and remove the hose. Ensure the stretcher's rails are up. Now, the patient may be easily moved to PACU.